stay in my head and it's going to bother me for the rest of my life. Top 10 tips. I'll say that 10 times fast. It is the glue that binds me together throughout the school year. Count one, two, three. And don't you stop the music getting to it. Won't you dance with me? Find a place and lose it. You can do it. Won't you dance with me? Move your f downtown. We let go. Sunset high and nobody knows. And welcome back to my channel. Some of you may know me as my drifting desk where I help you conquer college And that's exactly what we're gonna do today in this month's Let's Talk Tuesday video If you're new to my channel, one, you should definitely consider subscribing down below And clicking that little notification bell that way you get notified every time I post a new video But two, it is the first Tuesday of the month, which is Let's Talk Tuesday And that's basically the time of the month where I get to sit down and chit chat with y'all Or hang out, give you tips and tricks like this one But the cool part about this is, is y'all get to choose what we talk about every month And sometimes I ask y'all to let me know what you want to talk about next month in the comments or I'll ask y'all what you want to do on my Instagram where you guys can let me know so if you're not following me there either you should definitely do that that way you can engage and let me know what kind of videos y'all want to see from me but last month I was posting a video every single day for August a lot of people were asking me to do a video on like how to keep it all organized or how do I handle it all how do I handle being in college doing YouTube for example getting all my homework done having a job or two having friends being in a sorority like how do I do it and so I want to kind of give you all my tips on how I do actually manage all of that just in case you're kind of in the same boat as me so today I'm gonna to be giving you my top 10 tips top 10 tips say that 10 times fast top 10 tips top, top, <laughs> I can't even do it twice, but I'm gonna be giving you my top 10 tips for keeping my crap together basically Tip number one is something that I have mentioned so many times in other videos But it is my number one tip and it is what keeps me together It is the glue that binds me together throughout the school year and that is just scheduling my time I schedule my time hour by hour. I know what I'm doing every hour of every day I plan when I'm eating. I plan when I'm working out. I plan when I study I plan when I film these videos and so all of my time is used intentionally and strategically and I definitely think that that's my number one tip because if you are feeling anxious all the time or you don't know when you're gonna get things done assignments pop up on you last minute or you just feel overwhelmed with the amount of things you have to do it's probably not that much I know that I start to feel overwhelmed when I stray away from my planning and organizing kind of tendencies because then I'm like I don't know what's going on I don't know when these things are I don't know when I need to do anything and I'm just trying to make time and find time whenever I can and that doesn't work you need to intentionally plan your time to get things done. And so for me, that is planning on my time hour by hour. And that may be a little obsessive, which makes sense because I actually do have OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. A lot of my OCD stems from organizational or like time. I'm very particular about my schedules and my times. And that is just also a personality thing, but it is something that maybe you guys should adopt if you are struggling with kind of being overwhelmed in school is to just try to schedule yourself. If you want more of a breakdown on that specifically, I do have a whole separate video on basically how to schedule yourself or how to you know get organized and everything like that and so I will link it up above and down below if you guys want to watch that separately if you want to hear me talk more about that topic but definitely my number one tip tip number two to think about is when you're scheduling your time but also scheduling your classes my best tip is to schedule early classes now I don't mean that you have to do 8 a.m. if that's not your thing that is okay but honestly I always take at least a 9 or 9 35 9 10 like those classes that's my earliest class of the day and I try to smush them all together up until maybe two at the latest like I try to finish them all out by noon and that's the way that I like my schedule so how does that help me stay organized and handle everything because there's only so many hours in the day and if you schedule up maybe a noon or a two o'clock class you're more than likely going to be sleeping in until that class now technically you have less hours to do things after you get home from class because you're getting home at three when now you only have that little chunk of stuff to either work or to do a sorority or to do a student or get your homework done relax like self-care eat work out like how are you supposed to fit all of those things in and just a tiny little maybe four to six hour window it's impossible right so for me I plan all my classes in the morning that way I have more hours in the day to work with basically but be strategic in scheduling your classes it should be just as important as your normal schedule don't just say oh I have to take these classes BAM this is the first schedule that's available to me I'm just gonna take it be strategic if you can I know sometimes you don't have the ability to pick and choose when your classes are but once you do try to think about that and what's gonna maximize your time 
time to get as much things done as possible. Tip number three leads us into all of those things that you need to get done, is to actually figure out what needs to be done. Most of the time it's people like, how are you in school and you work? How do you handle that? Like, how do you decide when you're doing this? And most of the time I plan how much I work during the week or month based on how much money I need physically. So a lot of this comes from just organizing my finances as well. And so a tip to you would be to actually budget and break down a goal that you need to accomplish or some sort of number that you need so you know how much time you need to work. And that way you're not over scheduling yourself and you're not under scheduling yourself because both of these are going to stress you out. Calculate your rent, calculate your utilities, calculate how much it is to be in your sorority, calculate everything that you spend money on and then kind of divide it among how many months you're in school, if you're going to do it semesterly kind of or by year, like how much money do you need to save or acquire this semester to survive and live and do your thing, pay tuition, whatever. And then you'll be able to break that up per paycheck and that way you'll kind of know, okay, so I need about $250 per paycheck to live comfortably in college. So I maybe need to work 25 hours per pay period because I'm making $10 an hour like it's it's basic math But trying to actually budget and break down those goals that you need to meet So that way they're more easily attainable and you know what you need to do to meet those And so you just have to find that balance and that happy place to where you're not too overwhelmed But you're still getting everything done tip number four is how you're actually going to be getting these things done One thing that helps me complete everything that I need to do in a basic day is to prioritize those things now There's tons of ways that you could do this you could literally do this on a list form you could do this just writing a sticky note to yourself you could do this in the notepads of your phone you could do this in your Google Calendar and putting things as like events in your calendar and coloring them red for like high priority yellow for you know oh I should do this green is like if I don't get to it that's fine and then you could physically move that item to the next day and maybe move it up to yellow because you're gonna have to sooner or later get it like there's so many methods that you could do to prioritize your life but pick something there has to be some method that you use to prioritize for me it's list I love writing it down. I love to literally brain dump everything that I need to do on a piece of paper in the morning that day and then figuring out which ones need to get done. So today example, I needed to film this video and edit it because it's actually today, Tuesday. So this is very high priority for me because this has to go up today. It's a Let's Talk Tuesday video. It can't go up on Wednesday. And so this is red for me right there in my Google Calendar on my list. It's high priority. The next priority would be to finish getting my room together so that way I can film a room tour for you guys because I do have a whole bunch of stuff sitting over here in boxes that I need to put up and get ready because I'm hopefully gonna give you my room tour this Friday so be on the lookout for that and then my like green I could do it was definitely putting my laundry away it's been in this bag over here for two days it's not hurting anybody being there but I need to do it and so every day if I don't get it done it's not the end of the world I'll just move it to the list the next day make those lists with homework like which class do you need to do this today for is there an assignment tomorrow that should be high priority if you're not aware of when things are due you may start doing something that's not due until Friday but then forget you have an eight-page paper due tomorrow and you you haven't even started it because you've been working on Friday's homework and that way at the end of the day if you don't finish everything you should have finished your reds and your yellows for example but if you didn't finish those greens it shouldn't stress you out too much or overwhelm you to not finish those greens because they're not that important just move them to the next day my fifth tip for you is something that I just mentioned and the fourth tip but that's lists again you could do this however way digitally on paper whatever even just making a list period it doesn't have to be prioritized but I make lists all the time lists of things that I need to do for the week lists of things that I need to do for my channel lists of things that I need to to do grocery shopping toiletry shopping like I just have lists everywhere and that's just a good way for me because the way that my brain works is if it's in my head it's going to stay in my head and it's going to bother me for the rest of my life and so I need to get it out of my head and the only way I can do that is to put it on paper but I have notes all over the place all over my desk reminding me to do certain things that way it's not taking up brain space it's not adding extra stress in my head because it's on paper and that's just I guess a smaller tip to kind of relieve that mental overwhelm or that mental stress of trying to remember and handle everything just in your head like you don't have to do that put it on paper put it out into the world get it out of your head my sixth tip is definitely for your well-being and that is just to not take too much on like don't don't purposefully overwhelm yourself maybe don't join a sorority and have six leadership positions that's going to kill you I literally have had three at one time and I was on the brink okay <laughs> I mean obviously not like literally but you guys get the point do not purposefully overwhelm yourself or do not you know unintentionally overwhelm yourself like keep in mind how much you can handle emotionally physically mentally what can you handle on your plate at any given 
transition moment. How many classes can you feasibly, accessibly actually take before you go crazy? Should you be taking 18 credit hours? Maybe not. Maybe just sticking with 12 would be okay. Perfect. That's what I did all my four years. Try to find that happy medium between all facets of your life to where you're able to pick from each area without overwhelming yourself. And that that is a juggling game. That's a live and you learn, you make mistakes and you learn from them kind of area. Sometimes you're gonna overfill your plate and it's not like you did it on purpose, but just, oh, okay, now I know that I cannot handle having six classes and a leadership position in my sorority. That way next semester, you'll maybe take only five or four classes. Tip number seven is a way to help you better manage, I guess, everything that you need to do or figure out everything that you need to do again. And that would be to actually like goal set and goal plan. Figure out what it is that you need to do. What are you working towards in school? Like, what are you working towards in your job? What am I working towards in YouTube? Like, little goals, but trying to figure out what that goal is and how are you going to reach that? For example, a financial goal. My goal is to save $2,000 this semester. How am I gonna do that? Let's budget and break it down. How much are my expenses? How much am I making? What is that leftover? How much of this leftover do I need per paycheck to reach my goal? Like, there's so many different ways that you do that to make it more attainable in your head and also less overwhelming because that's a step-by-step -step process that you just follow. You've already made it. You just gotta follow it. Tip number eight is another one that I have mentioned in another video, and that is to just get into a routine. Again, this is just for my well-being that I love being in routines. I like having my routines in the mornings and in the days when I get home from class. I just, I have routines for everything and it helps me stay organized, one, because when I wake up, I know exactly what I'm gonna do and I'm not like flustered about, okay, like, well, what am I gonna wear today or what am I, what am I gonna do today because my routine at night is to prepare for that. Or when I get home from school, like, well, which homework do I wanna do now? Like, well, my routine is I'm gonna work on my online homework first and then the class that's the next day and then the class that's the next day like obviously these are just examples but getting into a routine I think and just for me personally has helped me so much to one stay organized and to just manage it all but again I do have another video completely about like how to get into a routine again and how to stay organized so I will link that up above and down below if you guys want to hear me talk about that more in depth outside of this video Tip number nine comes from the heart and that's just because I love you and I want to make sure that you're okay. Plan time for yourself and give yourself a break. Cause some people even go just through high school, like college, 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 and they're so burnt out by high school that college is just hard because they've never given themselves a break. They've never just relaxed. They've never stopped being in school mode. And sometimes you do need a break. You need to stray from your schedule every now and again. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I posted a video every day in August and I missed one day. And that was the last day and that's because I I gave myself a mental break. It was game day. It was the first game day here at Ohio State. So of course I was at block. Of course I wanted to watch the game and I knew I needed to post a video, but I wasn't going to stress myself out to take time away from something that was giving me joy just to post this video. And so I was like, okay, Marissa, you're giving yourself a break here. I'm straying from my schedule and I'm going to enjoy this day with my friends. And so then the next day on Sunday, I edited the video and I put it up a day late. Did it end the world? No, we're all still here and everybody's okay. So just keep yourself in mind and give yourself a break sometimes. My last and 10th tip of today's video is to ask for help. Know when to ask for help. Even I'm guilty of this all the time is to just think that I'm the only one that can do anything good or the right way, so I do it all. And if I want something done correctly, I'm just gonna do it myself. Like I'm so guilty of that mindset, but then I take everything on. I take on so much that I don't need to take on. And I stress myself out for no reason when I could ask someone for help. When I could go up to one of my other sorority sisters and say, hey, I have an event this week, but I'm just so stressed. Can you help me plan it? Can you help me execute it? Can you just help me? <laughs> and they're, they're more than happy to do that. Like there's people around you who would love to help you, but a closed mouth never gets fed. They don't know you need help until you ask for help. Speak out and ask for help when you need it. Those are all my tips for today's video and I'm hoping they're helpful. I hope I gave you some insight to really better manage it all. And I'm not saying that I'm perfect, of course. I have slipped up. I've strayed from my schedule. I've almost failed a class. I haven't failed a class, but I've failed a class or two. Like I am trying to conquer college at the same time you guys are. And my tips are things that have helped me, but that have not just made it perfect. So I know on social media or even just on my channel, I'm sure you guys think that I'm just this 4.0 student and I have everything together and I never miss an assignment 
appointment and I just, you know, I'm great. I'm not, okay? But these things have helped me to be better. And so I'm hoping that it helps you to be better and helping you better manage all the stress that is college and your early 20s and just young adult life. If you like this video or you learned something new, please give it a thumbs up. And if you made it this far and you're not yet subscribed, please consider doing that down below and turning on your post notifications. That way you get notified every time I post a new video because then you would see more of my beautiful cat. Her name is Kitty. <laughs> her name is actually Raquel, but she just goes by Kitty. I failed her as a mother. It's fine. Let me know down below what y'all want to talk about next month for Let's Talk Tuesday and also hit me up on Instagram to give me some of your ideas. I love to hear them and I love to make things that obviously you guys want to see. So definitely let me know. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.